Hi, recovery family. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's recovering well. I hope everybody's healing well. And remember, recovery is not a race. Today, we are going to be making copycat Mexican pizzas. Taco Bell Mexican pizzas. I was super disappointed when I went through the drive-thru and I found out they no longer sell them. So we're going to duplicate it. We're going to copycat them. We're going to get it. We're going to get some Taco Bell at home. It's Taco Tuesday. All right, everybody, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Back to the Basics with Holly. And you can follow me on TikTok now at recovery underscore girl nine. All right, everybody, stay safe and stay beautiful and stay sober. All right, everybody, I'm going to pre uh, preheat my skillet to 375. I'm going to put in a little bit of olive oil so the ground beef doesn't stick. I got a lower fat ground beef. I got 90-10 ground sirloin from Kroger, Ralph's, Albertsons, whatever you shop is good. Just regular ground beef. We're gonna fry this up really good. Yeah, I was super disappointed when I found out that they don't sell the Mexican pizzas at Taco Bell anymore. They don't sell a lot of things. They're really cutting down with COVID, and um, a lot of the menus are becoming more limited at a lot of places to eat. So we have to make it up at home, which is good. Save money. Your family can be creative. probably not going to drain it. But remember, if you do have a lot of grease and you need to drain it, get some paper towels, grab your tongs, and you can just sweep through and soak it up so you don't have to taste the meat out. Alright, this should be ready shortly. So I'm going to add my taco seasoning. Um, I'm using Old El Paso. So I'm going to add a half a cup of water. And sprinkle this on. And let that cook up really good until it thickens up. This is my favorite spoon. It almost looks like a cat, like where you scoop cat poop, but it's not. It's an actual kitchen utensil. It's just a wide mouth spoon and it works so good. I get a little more stirring coverage with this, I feel like. I like it. All right, well, I'm gonna put this on warm and we're gonna go fry up our tortillas. All right, everybody, I'm going to mix up my um, red sauce that goes on the pizza. I'm going to do this super quick. Um, I am using mild enchilada sauce. I'm going to do one cup. Because I think the sauce goes pretty far. And I am just going to add some diced fire roasted Hunt's tomatoes. Cause if you remember in the pizzas, there was a little bit of tomatoes and um, they're a little bit thicker. So I'm just gonna add a few to add more substance to the sauce. So I'm gonna chop them up really good. I'm just gonna actually go like this. Cause they're already pretty diced. Just put those in my sauce. Stir this 
up really good. And you can add more tomatoes if you want. It just looks like it has more substance for the sauce. So I like the tomatoes in there. All right. And we are going to get our pizza put together. All right. So I have my oil preheated. And I'm just going to put my flour tortilla in. And you don't have to fry them that long because they get pretty crispy quick. You don't want them to turn brown. And use very long tongs when you do this if there's any oil and it see how fast it it gets crispy does not take long and you can also put these in your air fryer to make them crispy too. spray them with some Pam and then you can put them in the oven to crisp up for an additional five minutes all right everybody we are going to build our Mexican pizza so I have my first tortilla shell right here I'm going to add a layer of beans and I'm using the vegetarian beans because I have people who live in my house who don't eat pork and if you didn't know most refried beans are cooked in lard which is pork fat so and you can also use ground turkey or whatever kind of meat you want we're gonna it's getting away from me here all right so we have that. I'm gonna add some ground beef here, my taco meat. Sprinkle that all around. This is actually really simple. And you can make them on the big burrito tortillas too if you want. So you can make like family pizzas. Or you can just get the super thin pizza crusts and kind of duplicate the sauce and everything at the same time. It's up to you. You can utilize the recipe of all the tools and you can put it together the way you like it. All right, so we're gonna get another tortilla here. I'm gonna put this on top. There's some of the bubbles. And I'm going to put my chunky enchilada sauce on top. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. Now, I don't know how they fry my Taco Bell, but these ones kind of bubble up. All right. It's going to be gorgeous. Yum, yum, yum. All right. Then I'm going to put my favorite ingredient. I'm going to use the Sargento for Mexican cheese. Four cheese Mexican cheese. I'm going to put this on top. cheese. All right, now I'm going to go put this in the oven on broil. All right, I got my pizza in the oven and I got the broil, the broiler on. You can also put this in the air fryer. It'll do the exact same thing. If your air fryer is big enough, mine is not. I just have a individual air fryer. So we will let this crisp up. The time will vary. It's like two to three minutes. So we'll watch it. All right, it's starting to melt really good and we're gonna let that brown up. And you don't wanna make your tortillas too crisp because they get even more crisp in the oven because of the oil. All right, everybody, our pizza turned out so great, but we're gonna to top it off with some green onions and some olives. And you can put the olives on now or you can put them underneath the cheese. It's up to you. You can cook them. I like mine fresh. Um, all right, everybody. So as soon as you get all the ingredients, you can make your Taco Bell copycat pizza, Mexican pizza. All right, everybody. Happy Taco Tuesday. Stay safe, stay beautiful, stay sober. See you next time.